I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. If you don't know how to play this version yet, look for a link below the video to a player reference with all the scoring elements, 81 in all, which is exactly why I play solitaire. I want to memorize those scoring elements. Playing four hands at once is the best way to do it. If you have a set at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14 tiles. Southwest and North will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each hand and see if we can find some scoring elements. East will discard to start the game. Everybody has their tiles. We're going to say that it is the East round. We got to look for eight points. Let's see what we can do for East. We have a nice foundation for a half flush, which is six fawn. Six points, I should say. I think fawn and point are interchangeable. We do have a chow here, six, seven, eight. Here's a six, seven, eight. We're lacking cracks for mixed triple chow, the same chow in each suit. We're east seat, east round, we have a pair of north. So that in and of itself is not gonna bring us any value. So we're gonna need more value here. Let's go ahead and replace the flower and see what we get. Six dot. Six. If we get a six, a seven crack, we could do mix shifted pungs. That's a pretty big if, though. Let's start by discarding these and see what happens. And I'm discarding these because we're lacking cracks in the seven, eight, nine. If we had a seven or eight, seven, eight or nine crack, I might consider keeping them, but I think we're better off to go for a half flesh. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's look and see what we can do for South. For South, I think we should try for all simples. We have three discards, terminals, which are ones and nines, and a wind. Simples are all two through eight. That's six points. We need two points elsewhere. Maybe mix triple chow, two, three, four in each suit. We're a little light in cracks, but we could do two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, maybe. Let's see what happens. Now, if we did all simples and concealed, concealed is two points. So if we do all simples concealed, that's eight points. Let's see what happens. We're gonna look now at West. Okay, half flesh. We need to pair these up for score. Any one of these could bring two points plus half flush. That would be eight. I would hold this in case we paired up. We could go for all pung. I would throw these away first. Four, five, no chow potential there. We have a pung. All right, so let's see what happens there. We're gonna look and see what we can do for north.
Let's exchange these flowers. Pear. Pear, pear, pear. We could do all pung voided suit. All pung. Pungs are three of a kind. Avoided suit means you have dots and cracks with no bands, as an example. Avoided suit is one fawn. We would need another fawn somewhere. Let's see what happens. Maybe start by discarding that seven because potentially we could do something with the three, four, five. Let's just see what happens. We're going to start by discarding the seven dot. And now we're going to draw south. That's their seat. That's perfect. So let's see. We were thinking about all simples, but this is their seat. So it, with all simples, you can't have wins. You need all two through eight. So let's rethink it. Let's maybe play mixed triple chow with their seat. That would be decent. Let's discard this nine dot. We can draw for west. Four bam. We've got one pair, two, four, four, five, three. We're going to discard a two bam. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Green dragon. One, two, three, four pair. Maybe they could pair up a dragon. Let's discard the seven dot. I was thinking maybe we could do lower t tiles. One, two, three, but we have a pair of fours. All right, we'll just wait and see. Let's draw down here. We want bams and pair up. West, okay. One, two, three, pair. There's a chow. Let's discard this eight dot. These two wins, if we pung them, will bring no score because our seat is east and it's the east round. These will help us get to a half flush, but we will not get score for that. So we still need score. There is a foundation here for a pure straight. We need a two bam or a three bam and a nine bam. So if the nine bam goes down or the four bam, I might chow. If we can get a two bam or a three bam, we could have a good foundation for a pure straight. Let's draw. Three dot. One, two, three, or here's a pair. Six. Let's discard the six dot. Let's see, wait a minute. Let's look really quick at knitted tiles, although you don't need a pair with knitted tiles. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine, three, six, four, seven, five, eight. There's a lot of gaps and we'd have to break that up. Let's, let's discard the six dot. We're going to draw here. Now here we could pung it. If we did all pung, we have one, two, three, four pair. All pung is six fawn or six points. So we need to come up with two somewhere. Voided suit would be one more. That's seven. We still need one. I think we should stay concealed. 
Staying concealed is another fawn or another point. Okay, six dot. We're going to draw two, two dot. Let's void a suit. Four bam. Void a suit, stay concealed. That's too fawn. Let's draw. Green, they paired up. They paired up the green. All pung is six. Dragon pung is two, that's eight. Let's go ahead and discard the singles. Actually, let's void a suit for bam. We're gonna draw. Now wait, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, let's chow. Okay, now this is gonna be risky because we're banking on getting a two or a three for a pure straight. Let's go ahead and discard six dot. Because we've got a pair and a pung potential right here. We probably could go ahead and discard that east. As pretty as it is. Six dot, let's draw. Green dragon. Okay. South. Pair. Oof. Two, three, three, four, five, four. Green. Maybe we could pair up. One, two, three, three, four, seven, eight, seven, eight, three, four, four, two, three, four. Let's get rid of this one and draw. Up here though, we can pung. Let's pung for all pung, dragon pung. That's eight points. We're gonna pung it. And discard by bam. We also have avoided suit. I believe that's correct. All right, we're gonna draw down here. To bam. Oh, safe. Okay, here we go. We're gonna discard that six dot. We can chow that now. We need a nine bam too. So we need to complete these two chows for a pure straight. Pure straight is number 39, eight points. We're gonna draw here. Five dot, three, four, five. Two, three, four, three, four, five. Let's discard the green dragon and we're gonna pung. Pung. Pair, pair, isolated, pair. Let's discard that three dot. Next, we'll get rid of that seven crack. And then here, we have a pair, but we only have two pair. I'd rather stay concealed. We're gonna draw four dot, don't need it. Up here, two, three, four, or three, four, five. Three, four, five, three, four, five, three. There are no, there, let's see, four dot. There's one out. Either way, we need a four dot. There's a two bam out. Let's go ahead and chow. Chow. Okay. Three, four, four, seven, eight. There's a pair. Or we could pung it. Let's hmm three four five three four five three four five let's discard the eight crack. I think it's kind of a six one half dozen the other. 
except you know what I should have probably sacrificed this because then we could have had no honors because we were set up to chow we really don't have a pair in here though we need a pair let's just stay put and not lament no honors four pungs or chows in a pair without wins that's one point we're going to draw up here oh up here we're going to pung pung we'll discard seven crack ready to win in five discards three crack or four crack so seven crack nobody can take it we're gonna draw flower seven dot drawing for south five crack oh man oh that was a good pick they have a three four five in dots four five three four we can get rid of this seven crack okay mix triple chow mix triple chow is number 41 eight points let's draw two crack one two three pung single honors those are not helpful we have one pung one other pair avoided suit let's discard this two dot and draw they're also concealed six dot three dot eight dot nobody can take it we're gonna draw nine crack wow look at all those cracks let's discard this four dot maybe we could have them play a half flush and pair up any one of those there are none out we're gonna draw eight bam discard they're ready to win play to win down here we do not want to pung that you might think let's pung it no we need a seven eight nine for a pure straight we're gonna draw red Ooh, red red dragon one two three seven eight bam none are out that's a more likely pair perhaps but we could also potentially pung and pair here we really don't need these let's discard the red that's a valuable tile that we really don't need and we really don't need that east either nobody can take the red we're gonna draw two crack we're looking for three four five mixed triple chow we have three four five dots out we need three four five bam three four five in cracks we have a pair we just need a chow so we don't need this two crack we can either chow here or here okay we're into the third wall now hopefully every player by this point knows what their minimum score is going to be for this player we're looking for pure straight one through nine in bams we can punk or pair in here this player mixed triple chow three four five this player half flush they need to pair up and this red dragon is out this player's ready to win on all pung dragon pung middle game this is where the rubber meets the road let's draw nine dot nine bam discard ciao so 
Let's discard the East. We need to chow or pung in here to get ready. Nobody can take the East. So this probably would be a good discard too. This one and this one. Let's draw. Four dot. Three, four, five. We could maybe have a pure double chow. Three, four, five. The same chow in the same suit. Two different chows in the same suit. Let's discard the two dot. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. South. We don't need that. The east and red were discarded. Let's go ahead and throw the red. Nobody wanted it. We're going to draw. White. Discard. Pretty tile. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. One bam. Okay, we do not need that. We need a three bam. Let's discard this eight bam. Here, we need a nine bam or a six bam. Let's draw. Oh, nine bam. Look at that. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Three, four, five. Three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, side weight, side weight, side weight, complete. We still need a pair. This could be the pair. Hmm. Let's go ahead and. Hmm. Do we go for the pure double chow with a mixed triple chow and sacrifice this chow or do we keep the pair and break this up? I think we need to break this up because either way we're going to have to break up a potential chow or the chow. Let's go ahead and discard the nine. No, you know what? Let's keep that and let that be a pair. Mm, because if we discard the souse, we could have them with all chow. All chow, no honors. That's too fun. All chow. All chows, no Windsor Dragons. That's too fun. Let's discard the south. Oh, this is hard because that's also their seat. I think it's kind of a six, one half dozen the other, isn't it? Let's see here. Seat wind is too fawn. Three, four, three, four, five, three, four, five. This is complete. Oh, what to do? There's a five dot out. If we go with mixed triple chow and we discard these, we'll be one, one away from ready. Let's discard this and give up on the pure double chow. Boy, that was an agonizing decision. Let's draw. Two crack. Okay, that helps with a half flush potential. We have a pair in there. White dragon is out. No souse are out. And east is out. Half flush is six. One, two, three. Hmm. If we pair up all pung, no, let's get rid of the five dot. And we're concealed, so that might help. Let's draw. One bam. Discard. We're going to draw. Two flower. 
I don't know why I say the number. It doesn't matter. For Mahjong competition rules, any flower is a point. Nine dot. That's a discard. Drawing four south. Five bam. Three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, seven, eight. And we're going to discard the four dot. And we're ready to win on a three crack specifically because we're looking for mixed triple chow three four five three four five three four five and dots already out so they're ready to win they're ready to win let's draw two dot five dot was thrown two dot was thrown let's just throw that mahjong self-pick self-pick that's point number 80 self-pick pair okay okay so what we have all pung six dragon pung eight Voided suit, nine. Self pick, 10. Three flowers, that's 13. Everybody pays eight points plus the value. So that's 21 points each for this player. For Mahjong competition rules, if you're playing all Pung, void a suit. That was a nice additional score there. Instead of pushing for half flush, just void a suit. All Pung, voided suit, that would be seven. You just need to come up with one more point. And we had a Dragon Pung and self-picked. That worked out nicely. All those little points add up. Okay. Three, two, one. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire, for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.